Hey, what's up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you how to remove the enamel coating from your motor leads. Now, when you buy these motors, they usually have uh, either a bullet connector or uh, quite a long lead with some solder with a solder tip on it. Uh, but if you cut them down, you will notice that uh, well, the the, the 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 wire has some kind of copper coating on it. And if you try to solder it, um, nothing happens. It it won't hold any tin, you can heat it up, but nothing sticks to it. So you, you can make a good uh, solder joint with this. So the, the recommended um, method for removing this enamel is either with, with a really sharp blade or um, with, well, maybe sanding it down a bit. But you, you really have to make sure that all the copper is gone from the wire. And with these tiny cheap leads that kind of hard because it they only got a, a couple of strands and when you uh, scrape it too hard it'll get brittle and it, it, it'll break so that's that's no good and um, I always use this aspirin be sure to get the the buyer brand the real one so not the cheap knockoff but the real aspirin and if you if you uh, use that as a, well, a soldering method uh, you will see that it will actually dissolve the enamel coating as I will show you right now. So you, you got your uh, soldering iron, you put the tablet down and then you make sure that the tablet melts a little bit, it'll begin to smoke. Do not inhale the smoke, it's uh, toxic, it doesn't smell very good either, it smells a bit like uh, vinegar. But as you can see, it's melting a little bit, it's getting a bit bubbly. There you go. Ah, oh, that stinks. And it'll bite off the copper coating. There you go. Wipe it down. And now, let's see if it'll hold any tin. There, beautiful. So that's how you do it. Take the aspirin, melt the copper off and re-tin and you're set to go.